today I want to go over a um, really important topic that I'm, I want to be kind of a uh, crusader against, and that is what you, you know, we're commonly seeing sports performance coaches call themselves um, functional training specialists and advertise their training methods as um, sports specific or specific to um, whatever sport the athlete is training. And um, this is a little bit of a crock, and I want to explain why. First off, um, when it comes to sports-specific activities, that occurs on the playing field and in practice. Like, that should be reserved for the coach of the sport. Um, nothing you do in the gym can really be considered sports-specific. Um, everything that you do in the gym is is really GPP, general, um, general physical preparation for the sport that you're trying to play. Now, when people try to say that they, that they perform functional, sport-specific movements, function, when, when something is truly functional to whatever the sport activity it is, it takes place in the same duration, it, it, it's the same time that the activity is, it's in the same plane of movement, and it's the same intensity. So, you know, it's gimmicky when a, a trainer is saying, you know, this is going to help you pitch better, and you got a guy on an air X pad on one leg doing med ball throws or tossing a ball back and forth. That does nothing to improve the athlete's potential on the field performance. And as a strength coach, that's what your job is. Your job is to improve the athlete's potential on the field performance. Now, why am I a huge proponent of strength? Because when you develop these um, fundamental movement patterns by, by loading them and increasing athlete strength, well, one, you create overall, um, increase their power, you increase their, their speed, you address any sort of um, weaknesses they might have you balance them out um, and you can't you can't be a good athlete without strength that's why that's why I don't understand why some people's philosophy is um, we're not we're not going to include any sort of strength training within our program all right well you can do all the planks the bridges the, the wall drills the sprints you want you're not going to have a good athlete if there's no strength component involved. Why is that? Well, speed is a function of strength. Um, speed is how do you get an athlete faster? You gotta increase relative strength and uh, flexibility and mobility. So the more force that an athlete can apply into the ground, the stronger they are, that's gonna increase their stride length. Um, greater contractions equal you know, harder hitting apps, stronger, mu stronger muscles create greater contractions. Greater contractions are the athletes that can jump high, uh, they hit harder, they run faster. Those are the real powerful athletes. And you can't, you can't be powerful without strength either. Power is a function of speed and strength. So your number one goal as a strength coach should be to improve an athlete's speed, their power, their strength, their movement quality, and their work capacity. That's where you need to focus instead of subjecting them to uh, like gimmicky training methods that have really no carryover to what their sport is.